What's up everyone, it's the first day of November and our holiday giveaways just started. If you want a chance at winning some cool prizes, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming giveaways. In today's video, we're drawing Great Ape Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Let's get started in the center of our page with the inside edge of the brow. Starting right in the middle, we're going to start with a short line coming down the middle. Now from here, we're just going to curve down and then out towards the left. Go back to the center, come down and then out towards the right. And we'll curve the upper eyelid going out towards the side. Starting back on the left, go up, and then bend that out. Go to the right side, going up, and then out. Now we're gonna tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting back on the left, let's step in. We're gonna start by coming down, and then bending that in. Go to the right, and do the same thing. And then from the bottom, we we'll go in, and then just bend that up on the inside. Now I'm going to move back to the center and draw the nose. Right in the middle, let's start with a point. Now from here I'm going to curve the nostril going up, and then down on the left side. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Let's add in the nostrils. From the left side we're going to step in, draw another curve going up, and then down. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And we'll connect the bottom of the nostrils with the curve, coming down and up. And we'll fill the nostrils in black. Let's go back up and add a fold underneath each eye. Start from the inside, curve down and then out. Now I'm going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting right in the middle, start with another point. From here I'm going to curve down and then out towards the left and then the right. Let's bend the mouth coming back up. Starting on the left, go out and up. And then we'll bend the corners of the mouth coming down. Going out and then down. Let's go back in and draw the inside edge of the lower jaw. Starting on the left, curve in and then down. And we'll connect the bottom with a curve, going up and then back down. Let's add in the top row of teeth. Starting in the center, angle down and out toward the left and right. And we'll pull that back up. Let's add another set of teeth, coming down and up. And we'll draw two large curved fangs on the outside. Curve around and in. I'm just going to taper that back up underneath the top of the mouth. Now we're going to move down and draw the lower row of teeth. Starting from the center, and go up and down on both sides. Let's add another set. Going up and then down. And we'll draw two large curved fangs pointing up. Starting from the outside, out and then in, and then taper that back out and then down towards the bottom. I'm also going to add the edge of the tongue in between the bottom fangs. Starting on the left, go up and then down, and it'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now we're going to move out and draw the lower half of the head. Let's line up with the bottom edge of the eyelid, step out. It's going to curve around the corner of the mouth and then pull that back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Lining this up, going out and then in. And then we're going to follow the same curve of the mouth, coming in and then down towards the chin. And then we'll round out the bottom of the chin, starting back on the left, coming down and then back up. Now add a curve underneath the mouth for the lower lip. Starting back on the left, and go up and then down. Let's move back up and draw the inside edge of the hairline. We're going to start on top of the cheek on the left, curve out around the eye, and go up towards the top. Now I'm just going to round this out and then pull that down in the center. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. 
from the center and go up, round this out, coming down around the eye, and then back in. We also want to enhance the brow by adding a fold along the top. From the center, we're going to step over, go up and then out, and line this up on the right. Let's add some fur along the side of the head. From this point, we're going to step out, curve out, and then down. Line this up on the right. Now we'll add a point, going up and in with a short line. Now we're going to pull the fur coming back in behind the side of the chin. Let's start back on the left, come down, and then in. Then adding another point, going up toward the top. I'm just going to tuck that back in towards the side of the chin. Come down and then in. Now the fur along the top of the head is going to point up, going in towards the center point. Let's start back on the left, go out and then up. And we'll taper that back in with a short line. Let's add another point. From here we go up. And bend that in. And then again, we'll add another point. Coming down and in. Now we start to angle the head going in towards the center. We start back on the left, go up and in. And then again, adding another point. Going out and then down. Now let's add that center point. Starting back on the left, go up and in. Let's add those large pointed ears on the side of the head. We start at the top on the left, go out and then up, and line this up on the right. I'm just going to bring that up towards the same height. And we start to bring the ears back in towards the side of the head. We start from the top, come down, now I'm just going to bend that into right about there. And then we'll flatten off the bottom with a straight angled line, going in behind the cheeks. Let's add a couple folds inside the ear, starting on the left, curve out, and then up, sort of aiming toward the tip of the ear. Now we're going to create an overlap, stepping down, curve down, and then in. Now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side. We'll draw a short curve going out and then down. Line this up on the right. Now we add a point of fur going up and in with a short line. And we'll continue the curve of the body going out and then down towards the hips. Now we're going to add the edge of the chest in between these two points. We're going to step in, curve up, and then back down. Let's go down to the hips. Move to the center, step down, draw a curve from left to right, point up and down. Now you're going to leave a small gap in the center, go to the left side, angle down and out toward the left and the right. Let's add some fur along the inside of the leg. Start from the left, curve in and down. And again, we're going to add a point, point up and out with a short line. And then continue that curve coming in and then down towards the heel. Now we're going to round up the heel going in towards the toe. Starting here, come down and up. Let's round up the toe and pull that back in. Now we're going to stack three toes along the outside. Let's start from the end, curve out and then down with a short line. Round up the toe, go up and then bend that back in. Let's add two more toes along the outside. Starting from the left, go down, up, and bend that in. And then we'll add one more toe on the outside. Go out, up, and then in. Let's go back up to the top and draw the outside of the leg. We're going to start from the hip, curve out, and then down towards the knee. And we're going to add some fur. 
my up and in with a short line. And then from here, we're going to curve out and then in toward the top of the foot. Now we're going to add some fur along the bottom edge of the ankle. Starting from the outside, curve up and in. Come down and in. Just work on weight towards the inside of the heel. Go up and in. And then come down and in. Now we're going to curve this up and in towards the inside of the heel. Let's add a toenail on the inside toe. Starting up here, we draw a small oval on both sides. And then we'll draw a half oval on the outside of each toe. Let's start with the inside, going in and back out. And the second, and then the third. Now we're gonna move back up and draw the arm stretched out towards the side. Let's start from the left side of the chin. Start with the curve going out and then down. And then we'll add a point of fur, just pulling that back in. And from here, we're just gonna curve out and then down with a short line. I'm just gonna pull the arm going back up towards the wrist, going out and then up. Let's go back to the left side and curl around the thumb. Starting from the wrist, we're going to go up and pull the thumb coming down, round out the tip of the thumb, and then go back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Up and down, round out the thumb, and then go back up. And now we're going to curl three fingers around the outside. Starting from the side of the thumb, draw a half oval. Going out and then in, come down towards the bottom, do that again. And I'm just going to tuck this up underneath the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. Now we want to add some fur along the edge of the wrist. So let's start from the top, angle down and in, angle down and out. Now we're going to do a zigzag coming down towards the bottom of the wrist. Coming back in, out, and then back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, start with an angle line coming in, out, in, and we'll add one more point. Now from the bottom of the wrist, we're going to curve the palm, coming down, and then up underneath that bottom finger. Let's move to the inside of the palm, curve the arm coming in, and then up, and then we'll add a point of fur. Down and out with a short line, and we'll pull the arm coming in and up along the side. Now, I'm going to add the tail coming out from the left hip. Let's start out here, curve out and then down. Let's add some fur. Pulling that back in, continue coming down. Now, it's going to pull the tail going back up towards the tip. Going up. Let's add some fur along the tip of the tail. Coming down. Up and out, and come down and in. I'm going to pull the tail coming back in behind the leg. I'm going to start out here, add another point, come down, across, and then in. Let's add one more point, coming down. I'm just going to pull that up and then in behind the leg. And that's pretty much it. There's Great Ape Goku from Dragon Ball Z. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.